Do you want to do the intro this time? Okay. Hi everyone, this is Matteo from Sea God, and this is Michael from here. Oh fuck, I screwed it up. <laughs> I got it again. I was supposed to say my name. Hi everyone, this is Matteo. You know I'm leaving all of this in, right? No, no, no. I cut it right to that. Right. <laughs> do this one. Hi everyone, this is Michael from Sea God. And this, and this is, is Matteo from here. Very nice. I think that's the order, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so. Will we search positions again? Will I be Michael again? Yeah. Alright, sounds right, good. Tell you know, like, we've cycled a lot today. Yeah, we I have. I just want to say, we're a bit tired. Um, just a tad. It's our third day of 100k plus. Yeah, back to back to back, back let's to back. go. But to be honest, I feel better today than I did last night. I yes. Don't know about you. I feel much more energy today. Yeah. And like even the hundred K today felt a lot easier. Yeah. Than yeah. yesterday's hundred K. Yeah. It felt less than yesterday. Yeah, which is weird. Well it was less. But only by like um seven K. Yeah. Seven K lower. Well, I can't remember. More or less. Mm -hmm. But anyway, anyway. So what happened this morning? Today we woke up. Is uh Saturday. Yeah. And we ha we decided we didn't want to stay in the old camping site because um, we wanted to get to Lelois. That was the goal of today. Yes, we wanted to get to a big old river in the middle of France. Which is huge. Doesn't know. Huge. Freaking massive. Huge river. So we got there, as you can tell. Yeah, alive. Alive. Uh, still with our legs. Um, huh? So we started the day in... Um, in the campsite. Corville. Kerrville, the campsite. Yeah, Kerrville. I We've been through so many places. Yeah, so many towns. People Kerrville. don't even believe that we've gone that far. Yeah, I told someone, like, earlier that we were in Livaro yesterday. Yeah. He just did not believe me. <laughs> he just was like, this is not possible. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm sure, like, he was gaslighting me. I was like, well, maybe I wasn't in Livaro <laughs> Yeah, yesterday. he came back and asked me, like, Michael, were we in Livaro yesterday? I'm pretty sure but we were. It, no, we were. We were. I checked. Yeah, so I got up this morning quite late. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. We started, I woke up. I think so I kept I wake you up usually right yeah. um, so I woke up at 7 and I was like no this isn't happening mm. so then I woke up again at 8 I was like eh a little more but then at 8.30 I got up and I was like hey Matti no wait at 7 I said hey Matti and you were like you thought it was a dream I didn't know if I I, I kind of hoped I dreamt it more than yeah. yeah 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 anyway but, but then yeah. at around half 8 9 o'clock started mm. actually getting up started making some progress very slow this morning yeah it's it's kind of feel like yeah, as the two day days goes of, on yeah we just become more slothy in person in the morning you know just like yeah, yeah, yeah a slower yeah. presence which is fair right we we are definitely pushing our bodies through something yeah. they weren't expecting either yeah not so, exactly cyclists here i think by 10 a.m i would say we left um, yeah, around 10 a.m. Around 10 a.m. We had managed to pack everything up. Oh, I just you know, to give say everything my, back. My legs felt quite sore this morning. Especially yeah, well, knees. just, just, well, not the knee, just above the knee. It was the yeah. same. I don't know about, for me, not quite sore, sore, but it was definitely, oh, yeah. I've done something with it, you know? Yeah, it was just sore, but um, I found the first 25k, I kind of warmed up. Yeah, they were the most tiring. For sure. Like, yeah. For me as well. Like, I was, like not the most tired. Like, in the sense, they were the hardest. I don't think I was the most tired, but I think my body was just, like, you know, like an old car. You have to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to put some oil in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't have any oil on me, so um, it was quite <laughs> didn't painful. Didn't work. No oil. <laughs> it was yeah. kind of painful. But they were, the nice thing was they were quite rolling hills. Yeah, yeah. Well, the start was the hardest part. The first 25K were the hardest part of today. Today but wasn't it felt hard. very flat. Like today it was, was very flat. Yeah, it was very flat. Cycle. But no, but the first part was the hardest, not hard. Yeah, yeah, but even then. So like it got our blood rushing a little bit more. Yeah, I, th I don't even remember a steep hill today. To be honest. No, there weren't steep hills. Today was flat, flat, yeah. like flat as a pancake. We're just like you know exactly imagine in France. Yeah, just going through straight up cycling. Farmers' fields. Yeah, literally. Because the thing is, it's not that we're doing these cycles and we're doing like a hundred k or whatever, and it's, you know, it's already impressive enough on the road. We're like freaking doing off roads randomly. Like yesterday, we went up some hill or mountain. It probably was mountain. Mm. It wasn't that long. But then we're like passing through farmers' fields and like mm. fully overgrown roots, and it's just like 
it takes a lot out of you. It's very it idyllic, lot. though. I like it, it. it is. It is. It's very, very nice. You end up um, today. Actually, I think the big thing of today is we were in the middle of nowhere for ages. I think that's what I remember. Like we from the stopped first, seeing people for the first twenty-five k, maybe the first fifty. We saw people the first twenty-five k. First twenty-five, okay, but they were the most populous. Yeah, at some point we just stopped seeing people. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. we weren't even sure if French people lived yeah, in their yeah. houses and they lived in like, their towns. Completely empty, completely empty, and it, to the point where I made the mistake because we were so used to seeing towns. They were like, "I'll just get water in the next town." That was next, right before the twenty-five k. That was right before the end of the first twenty-five k. We 25K. got a croissant and a pain au chocolat. Yeah, yeah, and we're like, oh, "We'll get it here a little early, earlier than usual." But you know, we get it now because yeah. we want to get it. Um, and then later we'll have it because oh yeah because at the end of every first 25k we're having our little breakfast with pain au chocolat croissant which is, whatever which is very nice hey, croissant keeps getting better yeah they're getting better the more south you go the better so far we're still pretty north yeah but we were in good spirits. I don't know we're center fans now probably actually. yeah I'd say so mm -mm. we're not in Normandy anyway, anymore so I was like alright I'll get water in the next town <laughs> the next town never came I think the next place I could have bought water was near the end of the 100k. Yeah. So how long did you spend without water then? Pro like I spent 45-50k without water. Like I had no water. Like I was I, I was quite quiet today, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's because I was on a mission to find water. Mm. Like I, I could feel my lips drying up, my throat drying up a little bit. I even started getting a bit of a dehydration headache and everything. Yeah. So today we learned get water and make sure you have enough for the whole journey no matter how many towns you're passing through because the thing is it looked like we were passing through a yeah. bunch of towns but all of them like some of these towns were two houses yeah yeah and there were no there were no supermarkets or anything nothing luckily it did rain so water did come from the sky yeah oh it was it was nice it, like it made me feel rehydrated yeah. a little bit i was actually happy it rained today because mm -hmm. i was sunburned from yesterday yeah. but what, what did we learn in that we learned to put on your jacket as soon as yeah, there's a hint we, of rain. We saw the storm up ahead. We're like, ah, oh, we, th we think it might be raining a little bit. Yeah. And then we're like, ah, oh, we'll put the rain jackets later. And yeah. then we get into the storm. We're like, ah, oh, we should put on a rain yeah, jacket. Yeah, because our, our t-shirts started getting completely soaked and everything. Yeah. I think that, I, I'd say that's around the 50k mark or after. Before, was it? Possibly a bit before. I'm honestly not 100% we're sure. Really I think it was 50K. a bit before. 50k, we were at... Um, <sighs> Oh, we found a really chill spot at 50k. Yeah, actually, it was really... really no, it had nice. already rained. It had so already rained, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it was before 50k. Yeah. We found a really, really chill spot. We were like, probably no one's ever been here. There was like an abandoned farmhouse. Yeah. So somebody had definitely been there. But nice. We had um, a little bit of food. Yeah, good. very nice. A little bit of saucisson, some camembert. Yeah. Yeah. What was left? We finished all our food. We finished all our food. We were less prepared today than usual. Yeah. And today was the most deserted place of place like mm. route we'd taken because we we're so getting so used to shops being so frequent that we were just not worried about whether we had it or not and but we were also always really prepared except yeah. water we're not prepared enough with water i think you know what happens is mm -hmm. like the first time you do something you over prepare like you prepare to the maximum mm -hmm. this is our third day doing 100k or it's like ah, whatever yeah we'll get, be in we'll good, get through the 100k either get way. a good 50k in and then see the next 25 out and then give it another you know yeah. and you'll be grand so we didn't prepare 100 yeah. percent but uh, so we got to 75k and we actually were like we're not taking a break here because we didn't have water yeah we didn't have anything we could have just stood around we were for like close two enough minutes. to orleans yeah now this is the old orleans new um, orleans we were close enough we to talked like, about that for a while i think that's around when we found water as well yeah well found water I went up, like I saw a live family, yeah, real people <laughs> going into their house, oh, and I was like, I have to go ask them. Some social interaction. I, know. <laughs> I, I was like, I have to go ask them for I don't know about water, but just where a shop is yeah. where I can buy water because I couldn't find anything on the maps. And that you were like, there has to be something as well that might just not be. No, on that map. town was big enough that it had. There could have been. And These the guys are so was, old, right? Yeah. That I think some of them just don't have Google Maps. On yeah, but they're also so small that we pass and see pretty much all of it, mm. right? And that's the thing. We see pretty much all of it, and we there's nothing. It's empty. Yeah. It's dead. Anyway, so this guy, absolute savior. Don't know his name, but whoever you are from... Where is he from? <sighs> I remember looking up the name. Was he from New Zealand? 
No, no, no. The name of the town. Uh, I can't remember. Sorry, man. But anyway, you saved my life, possibly. You saved me from a massive headache and from dehydration. So for that, I am forever thankful. Give fresh water I downed well. like yeah. He gave us very fresh water. I think I downed like a liter and a half of water in like genuinely like twenty seconds. I think he's giving us more of it. Like, yeah, and he's like, do you want more? Do you want more? I'll take some on the way. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. Such a, and then the whole family was there, like, so nice. I think so nice. when people see, especially in these old towns, they don't really see a lot of people, mm -mm. like, come in and out. So, like, I, I remember... They were I, young, too. Like, they weren't old people. Yeah. But I remember I was going through this old mining town that I don't think has any visitors. And there were these kids playing in the field. Oh, yeah. And they saw me, and they were almost, like... Sh like shocked to see because yeah. like, we're not necessarily passing through the most touristic place no no we had to go through a field to yeah get to this town and then through another field to get out yeah so it was really in the middle of nowhere and yeah. i think yeah they just they're like what are these two chaps on bikes with panniers on there psychopaths like, what's wrong with them going around france mm -hmm. up in the farmer's fields generally though generally um, but yeah mm. but Stop. yeah no that guy was lovely lovely yeah. the whole family the, the the wife as well was like oh give me the water bottle mm -hmm. back and do want more very very nice people yeah and then it was our last i would say 20k to orleans yeah or even 10k yeah and you started dying a little bit there i think there was this town we went in and it was all cycling routes and i we just slowed down a lot because mm -hmm. you know when you get into a pace yeah you're like oh but when it was you slow also down, flat at beforehand flat. and then it stopped so you start like sleeping on the bike uh, like your bike is your apartment so you're just like let's take yeah, a nap right. <laughs> take a nap uh, probably not the best place to do it is in the town where there's traffic lights and you have to yeah like, I almost ran into a pole yeah, <laughs> yeah. so um, yeah, it was a really big town that then just became Orleans I think yeah it was well I think it was like a, you know the series of small towns that lead to yeah. a big city yeah, but Orleans yeah. Orleans was nice um, enough I didn't love Orleans though like the architecture felt a bit dirty it was very I just I saw a lot of misshapen houses it's like mm. something you read out of a book yeah, like yeah. The Wizard of Oz I agree. or something I agree I agree it was just interesting but then we saw yeah, the it wasn't wire. very like France can be very structured yeah this was not no it looked I don't know it looked uh, different it's definitely an original town mm -hmm. and then we got to the Loire yep finally that was the mission for today well th though in theory we're supposed to be there tomorrow but yeah. we're legends so we're here today and we're only 10k away from the point we were supposed to be at tomorrow. Oh, well. Something tomorrow. like that. Yeah, 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 I think so. So we are ahead of schedule. I think. I need to double check this before. Um, but yeah. So yeah. after Orleans, it was raining in Orleans. So then we were just like, uh, let's just cycle the last 10k. Yeah, yeah. Home, or well, 20k. 20k, 20K, 20K 25, you know. It's all relative. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> it was just like, give me the next 20k. I just so, want to go or 10k. Um, we... Um, and it was, luckily it was a part of, we started the Eurovela route next to the Loire so yeah, it was very yeah. easy you didn't have to worry about cars you just yeah. put your head down and cycle Eurovela saviour yeah it's very nice it's a bit I don't know I thought I, I expected it to be nicer to be honest well, you, I think you just found it a bit uninteresting yeah especially going through farmers fields and towns and towns I, I, don't, I don't know about because we just started the route yeah we only much, did like 10-15k yeah, of it so. we're not sure how much it goes into towns or is it just same like route. this passes by the town like yeah. the, the Eurovelo track is like I right think, here I think it'll be quite nice we'll see in the next few days yeah um, we've got like three days at least to this but from what I understand there's be a lot more campsites as well which Just is chatting good. with some people which is good because we can take like some more reasonable um, steps I don't know I feel my light my head feels good all right, so tomorrow 100k. My legs feel. Oh, well, Matteo right. suggested we do a 200k day today. Well, are he you, he was very pumped. Uh, the idea was. He's like, Michael, could please. We, could we do 200k? 200K? And it was just a suggestion. My a answer was, it's possible. We'd have to prepare possible. very well. We'd have to take it more seriously. Like it would, you know what I mean? If it's flat. The thing is, we're like. If it's flat quite far but we also do have panniers on when you get tired you really do feel the panniers up a hill yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um so we'll see well the idea for i don't think we're gonna do 200k yeah maybe but we'll we might one beat our 130 no i mean on this trip yeah yeah, yeah. i mean on this trip we might yeah. beat our 130 we'll see if we feel like it but yeah. we're not i don't think we're doing 200 we're gonna see what the plan is for tomorrow 
uh, we might take a rest day. Although, I don't know about you, but I feel like when your body is forced to adapt, or forced to yeah. just rest, you have those six, eight hours, it's like, okay, it does as much as it can. Mm-hmm. And then you just yeah. keep going. Like, in, in my mind as well, a rest day, you should almost replace it with a light day. Because mm. I think keep moving when you're doing this, because otherwise your body's like, oh, now I can recover. Yeah. And it just kind of shuts down, and the next day you don't feel like doing anything. It and you really, go, really stiff. Because the thing yeah. is, I'm not that stiff. Mm-mm. I've made so it I, feel so strange. Yeah. So I think even if we do, like, like doing nothing should be doing, like, 20K. And it's just enough to get like us warmed up, basically. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it, it plays out, but um, that might be a good idea. Yeah. I'm actually to gonna go do the plants now after this when I'm uploading the videos, so. just to keep the legs warm. Mm-mm. But in that, we'll probably sleep very well tonight. In a beautiful campsite. Yeah. Very nice campsite. And um, yeah, tomorrow we try some French food, French restaurants. That's the plan. Yeah, French That's the idea. Food. So uh, yeah. we'll see what yeah. happens tomorrow. I mean, 150k, really? 200. 200, 200 sorry. Yeah, 200k. Just get to Lyon yeah. at this point. I mean, Lyon's not that far away. It's closer than it was yesterday. Yeah, it's shocking. Like, it's weird because every, like, every night I look at like, how long would it be to cycle to Dillon? Mm. Just to see the progress. It's like, holy shit, that number is ticking down. Yeah, we're under 1,000 kilometers, I think, at the minute. Oh, we're well under a thousand kilometers. We're under nine hundred kilometers. Really? Yeah. Oh. We're like eight hundred and forty-seven, something like that. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah. It's it started off at like one thousand one hundred and like forty-nine or something like that. We're making progress. Yeah. We. How many? So our cousin was chatting with him today, and he said, "Um, what is it that he said? He asked how long we'd gone, mm. and I." Calculated to that point, and it was 360 kilometers. Yeah, we were 38, and we were 38 k in. Exactly, exactly. So you add another, say, 60, 70. Another 70 to 360. Is it 430 or something? Yeah. Well, so we're like approaching the 500 kilometer mark. We are, we joked that we're training for the Tour de France. Yeah. But I am training for the Tour de France. Well, I'm just, I'm just enjoying life. Anyway, I think we're getting pretty tired, so I think we're gonna leave it at that and let you know what happens tomorrow. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bon nuit.